the ghetto gave birth to a lot of the concepts that are now part of our uh, food lexicon that we have to, we take for granted. So you know, local, organic, and all that hasn't always been a part of the American food system, and still, you know, there's a long way to go. Um, Alice Waters started Chez Panisse in 1971. We just had a uh, fresh homemade pastrami, which is a little unusual because most of the pastrami we learned today uh, is actually made in Detroit. Who knew? Not me. Nope. Never had celery soda before. They don't use Dr. Brown's here. Every day, every day the cheese board only has one type of pizza, and it, but it changes, and they sort of rotate through. They have sort of their, their repertoire of, of recipes, and my favorite is the wild mushrooms. Soup, spelled the old English way. Vegan, Thai chilies, and uh, what else is in here? Garlic, sweet red onions, red lentils. Um, and it's delicious, especially since it's a little cold out today. Really good. Supposedly, the guy that started this is the man responsible for bringing high end Chinese tea to the US. So when you're looking for jasmine pearls, make sure you look for small, tight walls. Butcher shop is amazing. The owners have been in business for just over a year. Um, the chef, well, Aaron Rashino, one of the owners, he was at Chez Panisse for many years as a chef, and his wife Monica Rashino and own, own the place. And um, they're inexhaustible sources of knowledge. It's not just a butcher shop, but you definitely need a, a kitchen to process everything because um, you don't want to throw anything out. Okay. Um, it's a roast beef sandwich with uh, blood orange. Fresh spinach, some uh, rosso di verona chicories, um, and some feta cheese. And a little house made aioli. It's a really good, like, structured mountain cabin at 16 months. That's what got me. I saw snow, I saw a lake, and I saw a mountain, and I saw a cabin. I'm like, I'm in. Yeah. So when you guys are done, come back.